Welcome back, kindergartners. It is time to do a little writing today. I'd like you to think about what writers write about. Well, writers can write about many things. They can make up stories completely from their imagination. They can write about themselves, experiences they've had, things that have really happened, things they wish will happen. Or they can do research on a topic and ask people questions to learn more about it. And then they can write about that. So today I'd like to show a book to you. It's called To Be a Kid. This is something that you know all about. So the authors of this book, Maya Ajmira and John D. Ivancoe, actually went around the world interviewing families and taking pictures of kids so that they could learn all about what it means to be a kid in all these different places around the world. So before we read the story, I want you to think like a writer. If you were going to write a story called what it means to be a kid, what would you include in your story? Let's do a thinking map. I'm going to write the word kid in the middle of my paper. Then I'm going to circle it. Around this circle, I'm going to make a giant circle that makes the whole page full. One big circle. This is a thinking map for brainstorming. When I think of a brainstorm, I think of all of these thoughts coming into my head like lightning bolts and clouds and thunder and so many ideas that it's like a storm. So in order to get all of those ideas down on paper, it's a good idea to use a circle map. A circle map is good for brainstorming. Let's think about what it means to be a kid. Well, kids have fun, don't you think? Kids are small. Kids are playful. They like to play. Kids like to help. Kids like to learn. Let's see. Let's think about there's girls and boys that are kids. So it makes me think of little girls and little boys. See how I'm just writing one word at a time. It's like my thought comes in my brain and I write down just the word I'm thinking of. I don't need to write a full sentence yet. Are there any other words you would add to your circle map all about being a kid? Great. Let's read this book to be a kid and see what the authors found out when they did all of their research and went around the world taking pictures of all these kids. I'd like to share with you something that you will see in the beginning of some books. It's called a foreword. This foreword means it's not part of the story, but it tells you a little bit about the story before you begin reading. There's also a globe, a world map, that I will show you in a clear picture after we read so that we can see all the places that these authors visited to take their pictures of kids. So this forward tells you that on our adventure, we made friends with kids all around the world. Kids helped us to take care of animals. They gave us directions. They introduced us to some really cool games. They visited countries like Australia and Kenya and Botswana. But wherever they went, kids were great friends and great helpers, and they were very inspiring. And if we've learned one thing from our travels, it's this. Kids are kids wherever they live. So that's what they learned as they went on their travels. So let's read this book and then we'll see where they went in the world to do their research. To be a kid. 
by Maya Ajmira and John D. Ivanko. Here's a mother and her child in Senegal and a father and a child in the United States, Japan and Nepal. To be a kid means being carried by those who love you. Do your mom and dad carry you sometimes? That means you're making a connection to this book. I like to make a symbol like this. I made a connection. That reminds me of something. Kids all over the world spend time with their family. So here's a family in Canada, Portugal, Nepal, Philippines, and Israel. And they're all spending time with their family. To be a kid means going to school. Oh, yeah. They go to school in South Africa, Pakistan, Russia, Philippines, Ethiopia, and in the Marshall Islands. Going to school and learning lots of new things. That's what all of these kids are doing in all their different countries. To be a kid means walking home together. So sometimes kids walk home from school. Do any of you walk to school when it's time to come to the building? Do you walk home? They walk in Bolivia, South Africa. And sometimes to be a kid means sharing a story. So these guys are talking to each other in Guatemala and in Ecuador, she's reading a book with a friend. Do you share books and stories with your friends? If you do, you're making a connection to this writing. Having a cool snack on a hot summer day. Oh yeah, kids in Denmark and in Bolivia or marching in a parade in Ecuador or United States or Botswana. All these kids doing things that are very similar in different places. To be a kid means playing ball in India Cuba, Mexico, and Antigua and Barbada. Running races in Mexico and France, going skating in Switzerland and Sweden, <clears throat> riding a merry-go-round in Australia, in France, or playing a board game in Nepal or in the United States. I've played that game before. To be a kid means painting beautiful pictures. Oh, yes. In Poland, South Africa, India, sharing the joy of music in Peru and in China. Or dancing your heart out in Ireland, in the Philippines, in India, United States and in the United Kingdom. To be a kid means taking care of animals. Oh, do you have animals that you take care of at your house? In the United States, Japan, India, Haiti, Ecuador, Mongolia. They all take care of animals. To be a kid means goofing off. Oh yeah, time to be silly. Madagascar, South Africa, and acting silly in Swaziland, Guatemala, Belize. Look at that kid climbing that tree. How much fun would that be? To be a kid means making friends. Oh, that's an important one. I should have written that one down. In China, look at all the friends. In Benin, Australia, Oman, Mozambique and in the United States. To be a kid means making friends that last forever and ever. Oh, look at this. So at the end of this book, there's a little bit more information about family, school, after school activities, play, the arts, animals, fun, and friends. And it tells you a little bit more information about each page. So I'd like to show you a globe so that you can see all the places that they visited in this book 
but first I'd like to add a few more ideas about being a kid that this book made me think of. So I'm going to go back to my circle map and I'm going to get a different marker so that I can show you what we learned after we read the book. Before we read the story, we decided that kids could help, have fun, play, learn, they're small, they're girls and boys. But after reading this book, I thought of some more ideas. Kids go to school. So I'm going to write down school with a blue marker showing that that's an idea I learned after I read the story. Kids have friends. Kids dance, they read. What were some other ideas that we saw? Oh yeah, they marched in parades all over the world. And they were carried by a grown up. So after we read the story, there's so many more ideas now that are brainstorming in my head. So if you are going to write about being a kid and what does it mean to be a kid, you could use this circle map, this thinking map, to start writing. Boy, we have lots of ideas. You could write something like being a kid means that you're small. You can be carried around. Girls and boys like to play and have fun. They like to learn at school. They like to make friends and they love to help. That's a great writing that you could write just using the ideas that came from our brainstorm. Let's take a look at that globe so you can see on the map where the authors visited. Here is a map of the world. We are in the United States. Some of the students in this book were from different countries, like Mexico, that's down below us in the red, Guatemala, Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, those are all in South America. North America has United States, that's where North Carolina is. We live in the United States. Canada has some kids that like to be silly and like to be carried. They're also in North America. Let's look over in Europe where I see Ireland and the United Kingdom, Denmark and Poland, Austria, Switzerland and Portugal. In the Middle East, there's Israel and Oman. In Africa, I see Senegal, Benin, Botswana, South Africa, Swaziland, Madagascar, Mozambique, and Ethiopia. All these places had kids in the book. They also visited Russia, this giant yellow country in the Northern Hemisphere. China, India, Pakistan, Nepal, and Mongolia, Japan, and the Philippines. They're all part of Asia. And don't forget down at the bottom of the map, this yellow country, Australia. Boy, they traveled pretty far to do this book, didn't they? Wouldn't it be great to be a writer researching kids all around the world so you could travel too? Maybe one day you'll be a writer who travels the world. You never know.